Hi, my name is Richie Misukanis. I'm an assistant controller here at Lavois CPA, and I work with our clients on implementing and using draft for their forecasting and budgeting needs. Today, I wanted to quickly go over the one of the main highlights of using draft, and that is the ease of setup. So a lot of our clients currently are, before using draft, we're using Google Sheets and Excel, which is very common for most people before they start really getting into forecasting. And one of their biggest concerns before they switched over to draft was not wanting to spend a lot of time on implementing that solution. You know, these are small businesses or medium sized businesses who are very busy running their day to day tasks and they just don't have the bandwidth to implement. One of the nice things about draft is that you're not talking about like months of implementing. Really, you're talking about hours, maybe maybe weeks, depending on how complicated your model is. And what I want to do today is I wanted to quickly demonstrate to you how easy it is to implement the software. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen and just walk you through some of the highlights on implementing. So I'll move this over here and we'll log in to Giraffe. When you first log in, it automatically will come to your dashboard. And if you go over to the, light, the left here, move this over, you see there's dashboard, reports, plans, and setup. And so we'll go into the setup portion of it. You go to setup and then actuals. And then here you'll see a few different things highlighted. Number one, you have the status portion of it. And the status portion is gonna give you an update of the last time the different areas were updated. So when the last time your chart of accounts were updated, your actuals were brought in, or your, work face, your workforce updated. A couple of things to note is that in the actuals portion here, there's a direct connection to, to QuickBooks, Xero, NetSuite, and Sage Intact. And what's nice about that connection is that every night it automatically updates, so you don't need to worry about importing it every time you want to run the forecast. The one thing to note is that what you'll do is um, you normally would have like press the connect button. We so we already have ours connected, so it shows import. But normally you press connect, you put in your logins, and within a matter of minutes, really, you have it up and running. After it's up and running, what you'll first want to do is you'll want to go to your chart of accounts. So you go to setup, chart of accounts, and we'll go to the all income statement section. And normally how it's going to look is right here for cost of goods sold. You'll see on the right, so on the left side is the master, which is everything that's showing on the giraffe side and everything on the right is going to be from your accounting system. In this instance, it's QuickBooks. What it says is QuickBooks chart of accounts are automatically mirrored in Giraffe, meaning that there's a one-to-one -one between QuickBooks and, and Giraffe. Sometimes that's beneficial. You know, for cost of goods sold, there's not really a lot here, so you don't really need to break it out or simplify it. But sometimes you might want to change that. And that's the nice thing about Giraffe is you have that custom ability to get the forecasting the way you want. A great example of this is with cash. So if I go to the balance sheet side of things and look in cash and cash, cash, and cash equivalents, we'll see on the Giraffe side, there's just one account. However, the actuals on the QuickBooks side, you have like nine different accounts. And so that's nice because you don't necessarily typically need to have multiple different cash accounts. But if for some reason you decide that you want to update that, it's super easy to do. What you do is you click the three little dots, you press add account. And in this instance, we're going to change this specifically to the, the Silicon Valley Bank. And all you would do is you would exit out of those. Then add that. Super simple. You save it and it's good to go. All right, so the one last thing I wanted to show on the ease of implementing is going to be on the workforce setup. Typically, the largest, largest account 
or expense a company is going to have is going to be with their their workforce. And so if I go down here, you'll see that you can import data directly from Gusto if you have that connection. Otherwise, if you don't, like no worries, you can use an Excel template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a template to show you how it looks. So normally you're just going to have these two tabs. So the staffing template sample and explanation. So this tab is going to give you a sample of what it should look like. And then the explanation is going to give you sort of more understanding. So what fields are required, what funds are optional. And a couple of things to note is for the email is that although it has email, it's not necessarily required to be an email. So you see you have an email or you have number one. All that they need is a unique identifier, but it doesn't have to be an email. And so this is this upload tab is going to be an example of what I'm going to use to upload. So to do it, I'll exit out. We'll go to import staff import. Go to open. Now if I go to the plans portion of it and go to the staffing module, I will see everything imported. So all of these are ones that are that I imported. So um, super easy, you know, it took maybe like 30 seconds to actually import it. And so that's just a quick highlight of the, the different areas um, that you'll need to do for a setup. But as you can see, it's a uh, super simple, not a lot to it. And uh, you don't need to have like a, an accounting finance or technical background really to do it. Thanks.